LXL A-Level Maths Statistics, October 2021, question 1. Question 1a, we just need to state one disadvantage of using quota sampling compared with simple random sampling. So a nice simple one to start with. And the reason is just that the selection in quota sampling isn't random. In a university, 8% of students are members of the university dance club. A random sample of 36 students is taken from the university. The random variable x represents the number of these students who are members of the dance club. So question B, using a suitable model for x, we first need to find the probability that x equals 4. So the first thing to do here is state what model we're using. So this is to do with a percentage, so it's a probability of 8%. So we're going to model it as the binomial with a total number of 36 and a probability of 0.08, that's our 8%. We then need to find the probability that x equals 4. Well, you could just put that straight into the calculator. That's the easiest one. So we're going to use the binomial probability distribution function with x equals to 4. n is our total number, our 36. And the p is 0 0.08. Sticking them into the calculator gives us an answer of 0 0.167. If you'd rather do this the long way round, then to work out our binomial, we do 36 choose 4 from the x equals 4 and the n equals 36 times by our probability to the power of 4 times by 1 minus the probability, and that's the power of the total 36 minus 4. This will also give us the same answer. For part 2, we need to find the probability that x is larger than or equal to 7. So most calculators will only do smaller than or equal to. So let's convert that first of all. The probability that x is larger than or equal to 7 is equal to 1 minus the probability that x is smaller than or equal to 6. If you, if you think of these, all the possible things x could be, x being larger than or equal to 7, that is the complete opposite side to smaller than or equal to 6, hence why this works. We're using the same binomial distribution as before. This time on the calculator, we're going to use binomial CD, the cumulative, because we're doing smaller than or equal to. And our x equals 6, the thing we're trying to find smaller than. Our n is still 36, and our probability is still 0 0.08. Putting those all in gives us a probability of 1 minus 0 0.97777, which gives us 0 0.0222. Only 40% of the university dance club members can dance the tango. So in part C, we need to find the probability that a student is a member of the university dance club and can dance the tango. So to find the probability of one thing and another thing, we're going to multiply them together. So our probability is going to be the 0 0.08, which is the probability that they're in the dance club, times by the 0 0.4, that's the probability they can dance the tango, which gives us an answer of 0 0.032. A random sample of 50 students is taken from the university. For part D, we need to find the probability that fewer than three of these students are members of the university dance club and can dance the tango. So we're going to let T equal the number of students who are members and can dance the tango. And T is going to be modelled by a binomial distribution because we're still looking at our probability here. Our sample size is 50 and our probability is the 0.032 that we just worked out in part C. We want the probability that fewer than three, well, this is the same as less than or equal to two. So again, we're going to use our calculator with the binomial CD. X is equal to two, because that's what we're going smaller than or equal to. N is 50, and our probability is 0.032. Putting them into the calculator gives us an answer of 0.785. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.